Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Yi Chen. Welcome to my Form 2 Math lesson number 35. So today's lesson is about how do we draw graphs of linear equations. Okay, so here is example one. So we have to do this. Draw the graph of the equation and that is y equals to minus x plus two. Okay, and now we are given this information saying that where x takes values from minus two to two. So actually what is the meaning of this where x takes values from minus two to two? So that means we need the table to find all the coordinates for x and y. So from minus two to two for x, that means this is minus two and up to two. So that in between we have minus two, minus one, zero, one, and two. And after that, we need to find the value of y when x is equal to minus 2. And then given this equation, y is equal to minus x plus 2. So therefore, what is the relationship for that? So when x is equal to minus 2, therefore what will be y? So y is equal to minus x. So this is minus x. And then I use bracket for substitution. And then now it's equal to minus 2 plus 2. So therefore, I have this minus times minus that is plus 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 okay two plus two which is four so therefore when x is equal to minus two i have y which is equal to four so this is how we find the coordinates for x and y so next now we come to x equals to minus one then all right i use bracket for substitution minus one for x so this is plus one plus two which is three, so that I'd get three, all right, in the table here. And next I need to find zero. Okay, so therefore this is zero plus two, that is two, so I have two here, okay. And then what about x is equal to one, then y is equal to minus, okay, so there, this is one for x, so that minus one plus two, so I have one, for this okay and finally x is equal to two so and then what is y so minus this use bracket for substitution so i have minus two plus two which is equal to zero now i have all the coordinates for x and y and then this is the meaning where x takes the values from minus two to two so after i have all the coordinates here now i can draw my graph and this is the scale given to us so scale for both axes five divisions is equal to one unit okay so x is the horizontal axis so therefore if you look at my diagram here okay so this is the horizontal axis for x and then this is zero in the middle going to the right which is positive so one two three four and then going to left which is negative so minus one minus two minus three all right so therefore this is the scale five divisions is one unit so here i have five division for one unit okay doing the same for the scale for vertical axis which is y so this is one two three four for y okay okay so therefore what is the first coordinate x minus two and then y it is four so that minus two for x and then y is four like this so this is the first point okay and the next one I have x minus 1 and then y is 3. Okay, x minus 1, y is 3. So I have another point. Okay, and next coordinate 0 for x and 2 for y. 0 for x and 2 for y. So this is another point. Okay, so 1 for x and 1 for y. 1 for x and 1 for y. And then the last point is 2 for x and 0 for y. So 2 for x, 0 for y. Okay, so I have these five points from these five coordinates. And next, I can join them up. Join them up. So these five points. Okay, so this is it. So I get a nice straight line. And then don't forget to label the equation. So the equation of the line is y is equal to minus x plus 2. All right, so this is how we plots graph for linear equation.
Okay, so here we have example two. We don't need to draw any graph. However, we are given the diagram here for the equation, and the equation is 2x plus y equals to 4. And then what do we need to do is here to determine whether the coordinates of each of the following satisfy the equation 2x plus y equals to 4. All right, how about point A? So since point A is lying on the graph, so we say that point A satisfies the equation. So here, point A lies on the graph, point A satisfies the equation. All right, so how about point B? So since point B does not lie on the graph, so we say that the answer is no. That means point B does not satisfy the equation. Okay, and what about C? C is lying on the graph, so that the answer is yes, as point C satisfies the equation. Okay, so for B here, if 0 and 8 lies on the graph, and then find the value of A. Now, what is this 0? 0 is for the X coordinates, and then A is for the Y coordinates. So therefore, to find the unknown A here, we can do this. So we put X equals to 0, and Y equals to A into the equation. Okay, and what is the equation? The equation is 2x plus y equals to 4. Is that right? Now I can do substitution. Okay, so what is x? Which is 0 plus a, 4. So therefore I can solve the equation and a is the unknown. So this is 0 plus a equals to 4. And then what is a? a is equal to 4. So this is how we solve unknown by substitution. So the left hand side, this one is for x x coordinates and this one is for y coordinates okay so point c here if b and minus one lies on the graph and then find the value of b so again what is b here b here is for the x coordinates and minus one is for y coordinate therefore we can put x equals to b and y equals to minus one into the equation in order to find the unknown b all right so let me write again the equation which is 2x plus y equals to 4 and then now so what is x x is b so that 2b plus okay use bracket for substitution and y is minus 1 okay so and then i have 2b minus 1 is equal to 4 2b is equal to 4 plus 1 which is 5 therefore what is b b is equal to 5 divided by 2 so that i get 2 0.5. So this is how we find the unknown if we are given one of the coordinates. All right. Okay, now example three here. Determine whether three and minus two is a solution of the equation. So this is the equation. Now I copy the equation again. So x plus 2y equals to minus 2. So to prove it, we have to separate the left-hand side of the equation and right-hand side of the equation so that I'm going to put x for 3 and then y equals to minus 2, okay, to the left-hand side of the equation. So that what is the value of left-hand side? We have this x plus 2y and then equals to 3 plus 2 and what about y now is minus 2 so that therefore 3 minus 4 which is minus 1 right so this is the left hand side and on the right hand side of the equation we have minus 2 so which is not equal to right hand side so therefore we say that minus 3 and minus 2 is not a solution of the equation so therefore 3 and then minus 2 is not a solution of the equation. Right? Okay, part B here. P is a point, lies on the graph, and the coordinate for P is x for minus 4, and then y is P, right? So find the value of P, and then the graph and the equation is here. So therefore, how do we find the unknown for P? We need to do substitution. So we put x equals to minus 4 and then y equals to p into the equation. Okay, so therefore let me write the equation again, which is x plus 2y 
equals to minus 2 and then I'm going to find the unknown so that we are given the x coordinates which is minus 4 and then plus 2 p equals to minus 2 okay so what is 2p equals to minus 2 and this is minus 4 minus 4 move to the right hand side plus 4 so that 2p is equal to 2 therefore what is p p is equal to 1 so again this is how we find the unknown p if this point lies on the graph that means it is same as p satisfy the equation of this x plus 2y equals to minus 2 Okay, so we do one more thing for this, for example 3, if Q, the coordinates, this is Q and 0, so this one is the X coordinates, and this one is the Y coordinates, alright, lies on the graph, and then what is the unknown, we need to find Q, so same as before, I start with the equation which is X plus 2Y equals to minus 2, and now I'm going to put x equals to q and then y equals to 0 to find the unknown. So that what is x? So x is q plus 2 and y is 0 equals to minus 2. Therefore q plus 0 is minus 2 and final answer for q is minus 2. Okay, again this is how we find the unknown by substitutes x for q and then y for 0. Okay, example four here, we are given a diagram for the equation, and this is the equation x plus 2y over 4 equals to minus 1, and this is the equation, all right, the straight line, and then we have a point Q here, all right, so what do we need to find S here? Part A, find the x coordinates of the point Q in the figure, all right, so what do you think about this minus 4? Actually, if I draw you this diagram, the coordinates, so... So this is x, we don't know, and then what about this minus 4? This minus 4 line on the y-axis, so here is wrong, this would be y instead of x, alright? So therefore, minus 4 is for y. So that we say that this is the y coordinates. And then what is unknown? The unknown is x. So to find x, I can put y is equal to minus 4 into the equation. Okay, so what is the equation? The equation is x plus y equals to over this is equal to minus 1. Okay, now do substitution for y. So x plus 2 and y is minus 4 over 4 equals to minus 1. So that I can solve equation for x so that x minus this is 2 times minus 4 which is minus 8 equals to minus 4 and then x is equal to minus 4 plus 8 so the final answer for x is 4 okay okay we come to b here determine whether the graph of the equation passes through each of the following points so part one this is the point c 2 and minus 1 we don't know whether this satisfies the equation or not so that we have to prove Proof. So I start with the equation again. So which is this is the equation, and now this is the left hand side of the equation, and this is the right hand side of the equation. And then I'm going to check the value on the left hand side when I put x equals to two and then y equals to minus one. So what happened on the left hand side of the equation? So that that will be two plus two and then y is minus one over 4 okay and therefore I have this 2 minus 2 over 4 which is 0 over 4 that is 0 so you can see left hand side the value is 0 however on the right hand side which is negative 1 so that you can see left hand side does not equal to right hand side okay so we can make conclusion and saying that the graph does not pass us through okay the graph does not passes through okay the coordinates the point c the coordinate which is two and minus one okay okay so another point here whether this point whether the equation passes through this point or not okay again i have to put x equals to minus four 
and y equals to zero into the equation. Now, what is the left hand side of the equation? So, which is equal to, so here is the equation. So, minus four plus two and then zero for y and then over four. Okay, on top I have minus four plus zero divided by four. So, left hand side is minus one, right? And check right hand side. Right hand side is the same as minus one. So, therefore, left hand side is same as the right hand side. So, therefore, the answer to this point D, which is yes. So, the graph passes through points D, and which is minus 4 and 0. So this is how we prove and do all this in example 4. Okay, now we come to the final example in today's question. Now here is the equation, and this is the straight line for this equation. And there are two points, point P and point Q. And then what we need to do is here to find the coordinates of points P and Q. Now this is P, and then we have two coordinates, and one for X and one for Y. Is that right? What about the 20 here? This 20 is lying on the vertical axis, so this 20 is for the Y coordinates okay and x is the unknown so therefore i need to find x here for p therefore i need to put y equals to 20 into the equation in order to find x all right so this point okay therefore 1 over 6 and y now is 20 equal to x plus 1 over 3 Okay, so to change subject, I'm going to do this. 1 over 3 is equal to, so what is this? Okay, I can simplify that. So divided by 2, that is 10. This is 3, right? So 10 over 3. Okay, so what is x is equal to this. And then move this to the right-hand side. Therefore, I have the same denominator. 10 minus 1 is 9. Okay, so what is x? x is equal to 3. All right, so we can say that find the coordinates P, P is equal to, so X is equal to three and Y is equal to 20. So this is the answer for P's coordinates. Okay, now we come to point Q. This is Q, okay, again, we have two coordinates. One is for X and one is for Y. So what about two here, horizontal? So this is for X, so I put two here and y is the unknown, okay? So I'm going to put x equals to two into the equation, for example, okay, and now I have to find y, all right? So the equation one over six y is equal to x is two plus one over three, okay? So one over six y is equal to, this is three, this is three, okay? And then this is 2, 2 times 3 is 6 on top, so what is it? So 3, and then this is 7, so what is y? y is equal to this one times 6, okay, so cancel out, I have 2, so 2 times 7, which is 14, so I can make my conclusion that what is coordinate of q, which is equal to 2, is the x coordinate, and 14 is the y coordinates. Okay, so next part B, determine whether the graph passes through this point. So zero, okay. So this is x coordinate, y coordinates. Okay, so what is the equation? Here, let me copy the equation again. So one over six, y is equal to x plus one over three. All right, so what about the left hand side of the equation? So left hand side of the equation. So what is the y? y is equal to zero. Okay, so the answer is zero. And then what about right-hand side of the equation? So x now, we put zero plus one over three, so which is equal to one over three. So you can see they are same or not same. They are not same. So anyway, you just substitute this. This one is for x coordinates, and this one is for y coordinates. And then you match with the left-hand side and right-hand side, whether they are same or not same. Here, left-hand side does not same as the right hand side so therefore we say that the graph does not the graph 
does not pass through this point, okay, the origin, all right, so this is how we prove it. Okay, so finally, another point, R, this is the x coordinate and y coordinate, whether, okay, whether this, the graph pass, passes through this point or not. Again, left hand side of the equation, all right, so what is left hand side, we have 1 over 6y, and now what is y, y is 0, so 1 over 6, 0, which is equal to 0, okay, now we come to right hand side of the equation, what is right, right hand side, right hand side we have x, plus 1 over 3, okay? And what is x now? x is 1 over 3, plus 1 over 3, they cancel out, which is equal to 0. Now we have left-hand side and right-hand side exactly the same. Okay, so what is the final conclusion? Therefore, the answer is yes. The graph, okay, does passes, does pass through, The point R minus one over three and zero. Okay, so the answer here is yes, but the answer here for point one here is no. Okay, so that's all about today's lesson. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.